Hey YouTube, this is Taylor's Pride. I'm here in the room with my mom. She's sitting in the bed um, this morning. Hey, cool, quick before we get into today's video, please like, please comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I was able today to um, get her to drink. Um, she ate a full cup of pudding this morning. She was fighting me, and then she drank um, a whole thing of orange juice, a little thing, a little thing of orange juice this morning. Um, Mom, it's gonna be okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. She is um, just laying in the bed. Um, you know, one of the things that really peed me off this this day. You know, I got here this morning at eight o'clock, and um, you know, just so hospital i tell you some of y'all know what i'm talking about but i got here to the hospital this morning and um it's now 11 51 and they have yet to bring a plate to the room you know normally they bring like some boost or insure they bring like pureed food so she can eat something nothing yet that's piss poor they haven't even brought my mom a cup of water to drink and, you know, so they have like, you know, this refrigerator out in the hallway where it's food for the patients. And so they have sandwiches and juices and pudding. So I went in there and I got this orange juice and I got that cup of pudding. And so I called the nurse and she said, well, you know, they changed her port out and they forgot to change her menu back to her, her pureed food. That's unacceptable. Here is a person laying in the bed who cannot even talk for themselves, really. And you, you, you forgetting to give her some food? That's unacceptable. Mm. And so I kind of chewed on the nurse a little bit. And so she said, we're putting in the order in right now. We'll get her tray up here as soon as we can. I said, all right. But she's, and then the thing about it, her sugar is down to 77 and that's low. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to give her this orange juice and just put in to possibly get her sugar to come up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, can I tell y'all, if y'all don't check on your loved ones, they could give a crap about your people. You know, I, I just don't understand. Piss poor. You know, like I told the nurse, I said, I know how you feel. You grow numb to certain situations. I've worked as a coroner for Richland County and did autopsies. I, I've been a chaplain in the hospital. You know, you see so much and you kind of grow a numb feeling. It's just normal routine. But when it happens at home, it's a total different feeling. Mm -hmm. And and I'm like, you know, this is my mom and y'all got to do better than this. And so the thing is, you know, if you got somebody going in the hospital or a loved one, you better be there to mm -hmm. check on them, to make sure that they get what they're supposed to be getting. My mom is laying up in this room right here all by herself and a plate ain't even, a tray has not even been delivered. You know, that's okay. This is the last time because I'll make sure when I, when I go out for lunch, I'll get some insure and boost. I'll get a case of it and bring it and put it in the room because that's piss poor. My mom has got to have some form of a protein. Listen, I know she wants to die. I know all that kind of crap, but I ain't giving up on my mama. I'm going to keep trying to feed her and put stuff into her body so that, you know, if, if she changes her mind, the things will work out. I had to re-put in all her orders uh -huh. as far as diet goes. So she would probably be like 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, thank so you, you so much. I gave her, she drank all of this orange juice okay. and she ate all of this pudding. Good, okay. Because the sugar was at 77. Yeah, so I was wondering if she needed another little something else. Yeah. I didn't want to give her too much more. I said, when well, I at least get that boost or insure, yeah. I can put that into her because she'll okay. drink all of that. Okay, good. So hopefully that will come up soon. She should be fine since she ate that stuff. Yes. All righty. And thank you so much. You're welcome. I ain't playing. I don't went off up in here. I'm sorry. I don't care what my title is. I went off. But my mama, I'll fight anybody. They'll have to take me up out of here in cuffs. Because I ain't playing about my mama. I had to reorder it. Uh, it should have already been here. But mama, you know I'm going to fight for you, baby. I love this lady so much. 
I love her so much. I love my mom so much. Why? Just keep crying. I don't know why. It's not about that. Let's not cry. But I thank y'all so much as um as I'm as I'm experiencing these things, these transitions of life. You know, it is the realities of life. People go through this and, and I'm not exempt from this, but I'm just encouraging you that if you ever have to go through this, you need to make sure that you have somebody you can depend on that's going to be there for you. You need to make sure that you've got somebody who love you enough that they will stand up for you when you can't stand up for yourself. You need to make sure that you have somebody that's going to watch out for your best interest interest to make sure that you got a plate or tray you've got something to drink something to swallow make sure all of your medicines are being taken listen can i tell you they could give up rats you know what about you but you got to care for yourself and listen you never know what's going to come upon come you never know what's going to happen you don't know where you're going to be a year from now a week from now you could be laying up in a hospital you know it's important that you you know, get some things written down on the people that know and love you. And so they will know what to do and how to care for you. Yeah, my mom says I want to die, but that, we know that's not her. My mom, my mom wants to live and we just got to get her to that place. And so we bind up the devil. We bind up Satan and his imps. We bind that up in the name of Jesus. I, I'm, I'm going to be going out getting some oil today. I'm going to anoint my mom. Listen, I ain't playing. I know that's a spirit that's trying to take her life. I know, listen, it ain't over till God says it's over. And so I'm going to be anointing her today. Listen, we're going to have church up in here today. Uh, listen, my mom loves church. She loves to sing. So we're going to be doing all of that. I've been in the hospital. We're going to turn this hospital room into a worship center. We're going to turn it into a church. I just believe by the spirit and by the power of God. And, and I told y'all in some of my videos already, it's okay if it goes the other way. But we're going to, listen, I'm going to do everything that God would require of me to do. Mama, you got to go to the bathroom. Hey, I thank y'all so much. Y'all inspire me, man. Thank you for the comments. Some of you have been sending me some private inbox messages. Keep doing that because this is encouraging me. Y'all keep sending me some messages. Comment, come on, you know, help me get, help me deal with this. Those of you who have already dealt with this, you know, help me. I need you. I'm pleading and begging you to help me. Help me get through this process. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but I know who holds tomorrow. And I'm just thanking y'all for just being a part of Taylor Spry Homestead. This is, this is, this is my heart in here. And God knows I love her with all my heart. What you say, mom? What's wrong? Let me get off. Let me see what's going on with mom. I love y'all. Peace. What's going on, Mama? Mm. Huh? Mm. Move your fingers around. Move your fingers, Mama. Move your fingers for me. Mm. Come on. Move your fingers. Come on. Do that for me. Good job, Mama. Come on. Move those fingers. I love you, girl. Mm. I love you. Mm. What's wrong? Mm. You are so beautiful.
to me. Mama, you are so beautiful to me. You're everything I hope for. Everything that I need. You are so beautiful to me. I love you. I love you. I love you, Mama, today because you are so great in every special way. That's why I love you. I lift you up and I'll magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. You are so amazing to me. Mama, you are so amazing to me. You're everything. I hope for everything that I need. You are so beautiful to me.